What's going on, my ASVAB party people? Anderson here, your ASVAB coach. I'm proud to have helped over 500 students pass the ASVAB just this year, and you're next. So, we're gonna be doing a distance rate time word problem here, and we actually have a class on this. Two hours long, where I answer all your questions and help you out tonight at 6 p.m. Eastern. So you can use that link, or the link in the description, or if there's a link or a card that pops up there, go ahead and use it. Oh, and by the way, We've got our Black Friday sale starting now. So if you want to get into that, go ahead, hit me up. My number is in the description. Reach out to me and ask me about it, and I'll hook you up. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started here. So in this problem, it doesn't matter what kind of word problem it is. Remember, you must, you must, you must start with the question no matter what. It doesn't matter to me. It doesn't matter to anybody, really, uh, what the information is unless you know what it's useful for. So what I'm referring to is, you know that feeling of reading through the first sentence there and then the second sentence and then you have no idea what just happened? You just blank out? Yeah, that's it right there. We don't want to just read the information if we don't know why it's useful. Starting with the question gives us purpose here. We know exactly what we're going for. So with that said, let me go ahead and go over here. That way I have a little more space to work with. But let me highlight this. What was Corey's average speed? So that right there is already a key phrase. That right there tells me average speed, boom, I'm already thinking if I'm looking for average speed, that's distance rate time all day, all day. So again, I'm doing distance rate time. So distance equals rate times time right there. All right, right there, nice and easy. And we're looking for the rate. Remember average speed, refers to rate, speed, the rate at which you are traveling, that's what you're looking for. And for who specifically? Be very careful, read the information. Corey, we want this for Corey. So this is the second phase now. First phase is again, just answering, okay, what is the question? What are we looking for? Step two, we're gonna gather our information to see what we can work with. It's kind of like saying, hey, our job right now is to put up this painting and let's go ahead and see what tools we have. That's what's going on. And so as a reminder, um, at any point when you are enjoying this video, go ahead and make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. That way we can keep helping you out. But let's keep going here. Let's start with the information. Corey left the city library and drove toward the beach. Okay, no real hard numbers there, and that's okay. This is giving us context, the story. So Corey left the city library and drove toward the beach. Daryl left the library two hours later, driving at 30 kilometers per hour to try to catch up to Corey. Okay, so was that information useful? I don't know yet. I don't know, but it says Darrow left the library two hours later, driving at 30 kilometers per hour. So that wasn't for Corey, that was for Darrow. So let's go ahead and write that information, but making sure that we're marking it as Darrow, okay? So for Darrow, we'll go ahead and start it right up here. So for Daryl, the information that I have is left two hours later. So two hours after Corey. So two hours after Corey, and let me go ahead and give myself just a little more room here, a little more room to work with. So after Corey, okay, 30 miles or 30 kilometers per hour. Sorry, I'm American. So 30 kilometers per hour. So right there, so 30 kilometers per hour. And what kind of a unit is that? Remember, a rate is a unit that basically blends two things or two units together. In this case, we have kilometers and we have hours. And so with that said, that is going to be a rate. That's a speed. We're going to write that down. Next, to try to catch up to Corey, after driving for four hours, Daryl caught up to Corey. Okay, so caught up. So four hours later, four hours later catches up sounds good all right so there we are four hours later catches up so what does this information all mean like you're looking at this right now and you're probably saying okay hold up uh i don't have a distance i don't have a time for corey because if we're focusing specifically on corey right now you know that's the man of the hour that's the person that we're talking about here right and so if you're taking if you're checking this out you're saying hey if i had the distance and i had the time I could solve this equation for the rate. I could, I could. But what just happened? We read all the information and we're talking about Daryl, 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 Daryl. Oh, 
okay, how do we use this information? And this is where it's important to understand the story. This is where it's important. So from start to finish, what happens? Corey leaves the city library, drove toward the beach. Okay, so Corey starts driving. So now we have some information about Corey driving. Darrow left the library two hours later. Okay, then it says after driving for four hours, Darrow catches up to Corey. So ask yourself real quick, if it was two hours before Daryl started leaving to catch up to Corey, and then four more hours until Daryl actually caught up, what does that tell you? Two hours plus six hours, or four hours equals six hours. <laughs> I love those mess ups, but yeah. Two hours plus four hours gives you six total hours. That's how long Corey was driving for. So I can tell you that right now. So for Corey, the time, six total hours. And the reason I'm counting total hours is because if I have the total distance and the total time, then I can find the speed or the rate for the total trip. So that's what we're doing here. So we have six hours total because again, two hours, four hours, that's how long it took together, six total hours. Now you're asking, what about the distance? How are we supposed to find the distance here? Well, again, it's all in the story. Think about it like this. If Daryl and Corey both left from the library and they both catch up or Daryl catches up to Corey, that means that they drove the same distance. Think about it. They both start at the library. They both find each other at the beach. Not really find each other because basically Daryl finds him there to catch up to him. But long story short, hey, you can find the distance for Corey by finding the distance for Daryl. And so what's Daryl's distance? Well, let's think about the total driving time only for Daryl. So if we're looking in red over here, the total driving time was four hours. We're not gonna count these two hours over here because Daryl was still in the library. It was after those two hours that he actually started driving. So Daryl drove for four hours and this is Daryl's speed. So if you complete the distance equals rate times time equation for Daryl, you're gonna have the same distance for Corey because again, they drove the same distance. Both started the library, both ended on the beach. So distance equals the rate times time, right there. And so 30 times four, what's that gonna give us? My ASVAB party people, that is gonna be 120 kilometers, right there. And guess what? That's the same distance, same distance for our friend same distance for Corey. And so with that said, we are now able to fill this in equals rate times six hours total. We can fill this in, we're good. We can rewrite this as 120 equals six R and we can divide both sides by six. And guess what we get my party people? That rate for Corey will be 120 divided by six. That's gonna give us 20 kilometers per hour. Booyah, right there, and we're good. So we come back up here, the answer will be B. And so like I said, my party people, look, word problems are all about understanding the story. So that way you can address what you're looking for and connect the pieces to the story together. That's what it's all about. And if you want to learn more about this, and if you want to feel confident, all, all the different types of distance rate time word problems, go ahead, check it out right over there. Use that link or the link in the description to go ahead and check out the ASVAB All Access program where you'll get all the support you need until you pass. That includes all the live classes, all the practice that I offer, my study guides, and access to me whenever you need me. So with that said, my ASVAB party people, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in tonight's class. Oh, and by the way, if you're still watching, guess what? Black Friday is right on the corner. So again, hit me up directly if you want a coupon code. See you then. Hey, thanks for watching. Go ahead and smash that subscribe button up here. That way you can get more great content from us or text ASVAB to that number. That way you can join us for a free class and get a free mini course at the same time. And then look forward to the next video. That way you can continue crushing it and raising your score. Anderson, your ASVAB coach here. See you next time.